Welcome back. It's Brandon. It's Lindsay. Today we're going to be reacting to Jonas Brothers' two new songs, X and Five More Minutes. Well, I'm very excited. I don't know if you guys know based on the other videos that we've done, but I'm a complete Jonas Brothers stan. This is my tour shirt from 2009, I think. Definitely 2009. We've already heard some of Five More Minutes on the Grammys. I'm just super excited to hear the whole song and I'm super excited for X. I was not expecting them to do a collaboration with anyone just because in previous interviews they've they've been kind of like hush hush about it which i actually really love that they kind of surprised us with this i am interested to hear x just because it features carol g and if you don't know who carol g is i'm pretty sure she's just a spanish rapper and i know her because of tusa with Nicki minaj which is a whole entire bop i don't think she really speaks english so that'll be interesting to hear that Five more minutes. Uh, we heard a little bit of it during the Grammy performance. I remember me and Lindsay heard that a little bit and we're like, Hey, what is this, honey? I'm really excited to hear the full version of that. First, we're gonna go into five more minutes because I've already heard, you know, part of that at the Grammys. I, I mean, I know I'm not gonna be disappointed in this song because it's just already so great. So, I love Nick Jonas. On that note, I am a Joe girl, but Kevin, Nick, you can't go wrong there. You can't. You can't. His voice sounds amazing on this. This is the part in the Happiness Continues documentary that he was trying to record. I love that. I love this. It's well. Alright. Joe? These vocals, these vocals. Let's just talk about them. I'm watching the lyric video. It's all these flowers. It's so cute. It really fits the song well. So I'm really glad that they did a lyric video for this, aren't they? These vocals are seriously incredible. I mean, the Jonas Brothers know how to write a love song, and then they know how to write just an anthem. So they can't, you know, they just can't put out anything bad. I'm, I'm so glad that we heard the full thing finally. Like everyone's been waiting, everyone has been asking for five more minutes since the Grammys. And then they saw, we saw a snippet of it in Happiness Continues when Nick was recording and he was doing the please. So now I'm just like, thank you for putting this out Jonas Brothers. You know, you know what you're doing. I love it. We love it. We'd love to see it. So let's dive into five more minutes. Give me five more minutes. Okay, first of all, I, I can't even. Why is Nick coming at us with like these vocals? I don't understand it. Like he he wasn't even the superior of the group. Like Joe was the main one and now nick is like so i know how to sing very good and i know how to do these high notes so i'm gonna come at you with these and you know i'm not okay with that so Ooh, I like the okay okay i hear you joe Ooh, okay. Wait, wow. <laughs> I love it. What is this? I need to hear that live. Mm. Well, um, that was a bop right there. So now I'm gonna react. I'm gonna listen to x with carol g i'm really excited to hear this because it's different when a band collaborates with a solo artist because you wonder like well where's everyone gonna fit in you know the jonas brothers have two main vocalists so where you know who's doing the verses who's doing the bridge who's doing the chorus so i'm really excited to see how this is gonna be and like who's singing what part and how their voices fit together so okay carol g i'm ready for Mm. 
we're gonna need to stop for a second. Now I knew this was gonna be sickening. I I was not I was not prepared for this. I'm kind of feeling attacked by them, honestly. Like they're just they're just going off. This is so good already. We are 31 seconds in. Their vocals are so good. I just can't get over it. It's so crazy to watch how they've grown. And they mix, you know, DNCE so well with Nick Jonas's solo career. Like, I, I love that. This is a bop. This is a bop. All right, Carol G. Okay. She sounds really good on this track. You know what, this is the perfect time to release this because this is going to be the new summer anthem. It's already my summer anthem, so their voices work really well together and this was the perfect song for her to be on with them. <clears throat> I just need some time to, to cope with these songs. I don't... Why does it sound like a song I know they've done before? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. This beat. Ooh. Ooh. I like how like it's like a seduction voice. Like he's just like whispering into the mic and like that's the type of beat that this is. I'm sorry that was so weird to say, but I just had to say it. I love this chorus. Okay, so she is speaking Spanish, so I thought. It's okay, we love that. Okay. Come on, Carol. Kiss me like your ex in the room. The trumpets, okay. That was a whole entire bop. Oh, these two were good. Oh my God, I think, okay. Jonas Brothers, I was really, really nervous for this X song just because it was with Carol G, it's a feature. I, I just didn't know what's gonna happen. Them releasing these two together, even though we already heard snippets of five more minutes, I feel kind of personally attacked, like I've already said. Both songs, 10 out of 10. Both songs, songs of the summer for me. Not even just the summer. I will be listening to these tracks for the next 50 years of my life um i'm just i don't know i don't know what to say they're just so good i just i i feel like i just need them to go on another tour and that's not possible because like every tour is canceled but the jonas brothers you know i'll be there i will be there these songs are really good i'm really shocked that X was good though with Carol G just because i didn't know what the musical direction was going to be i felt like it was going to be like kind of like a dance Mexican festival kind of thing. That's kind of how I felt that song was. It reminds me of um, the Things and Furp episode and the mom goes to the Mexican Jewish festival. It's a Mexican Jewish cultural festival. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's like the trumpets and everything that's reminding me of it. I really like that song. In five more minutes, I was expecting me to like it, so I'm not really surprised by that. But I do really like those both, I like both those tracks. I'm really excited to hear their new album, what they're gonna do, because I feel like we got What A Man Gotta Do for the first single off the album. I don't know if that's the first single, but we got that a long time ago. And I know with this whole pandemic going on, we're not. Uh, I feel like during this time, we need music more than ever. So I feel like this is a really, really good time to release music. All the Jonas Brothers fans come together, just listen to the new album, because I know they have it under their sleeves, because these two songs, I mean, come on now, we got it. So I give X and Five More Minutes 10 out of 10. Comment below what you think of these two new songs from the Jonas Brothers, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And, and make sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you on the next video.